So today we're gonna to talk about the top 10 reasons, in my humble opinion, as to why you might wanna think twice about moving to Reno Tahoe. Hey, my name is Brian Lessinger, and I'm a local real estate agent here in the Reno Tahoe area. And I have lived here and been here over 34 years, so I have seen it all. But today we're gonna to talk about the top 10 cons about living in or moving to Northern Nevada. So item number one on our list of 10 is the weather. I personally look at it as a pro. We've talked about it in other videos, but for those of you that do not like to live in a high elevation climate or have four seasons or temperature differences from the summer to the winter of almost 100 degrees, I get it. If you don't wanna be here and you don't ever wanna see snow again, that can be construed as a con for you. I prefer to focus on the 300 days of sunshine and the fact that you can pretty much do year round outdoor activities depending on that, you know, what you like to do. Take it for what it's worth. Go watch our other video. We'll go way in more detail about the weather. Number two is everything goes here. We are a 24 hour town. So if you're one of those people that just doesn't want to live in a community that has gambling, drinking, access to everything 24 hours a day, and in the outlying counties, not here in Washoe County, prostitution in our state is still legal. We have all those things here. And there are some real great benefits of having a 24 hour town. Trust me, when you go visit somewhere else and it's 10 o'clock at night and you can't find food, you'll wish you were back here in Reno Tahoe. Number three is traffic. Again, I've lived here 34 years. The traffic has definitely increased since it did before, but this is one of those things to me, it's all relative. If we get people moving here from the Bay Area, they think the traffic's fantastic. But if you get people that have lived in Reno for 50 or 60 years, they're feeling like the traffic is a disaster. We only have two major freeways here. We have 80 that runs east and west. That's how you get to the Bay Area. We have 395 that runs north and south. And when they all come together, what locals will call the spaghetti bowl has just had a major project that was finished. And when I first moved here, it was two or three lanes on either side and it could back up and be traffic there but now both sides are six lanes i'm not typically someone that hits it at the rush hour evening and morning times but i have to assume it's going to be way better than it used to be Number four is shopping. Again, is a hundred times better here than it was when I first moved here. And whether you're shopping for clothes or food or any of those kind of things, but we are still not going to be a major city. So sometimes people will go to Vegas or San Francisco, and there's just options in these major, major metropolitan cities that we're just not going to have here. It is way improved. It is way better, but it is still not like those major, major cities. A question I get as a real estate agent, item number five is, I want to be in a neighborhood that's walkable. Well, there are neighborhoods that are walkable, but not necessarily other than just trails and taking your kids out on a bike. You're not actually going to food or a place or those kind of things. We do have in downtown and midtown, there's a good like mile and a half, two mile area where if you want to live in a neighborhood that's very walkable, that is the place to be. It has been totally redone. It's been revitalized. There's all kinds of cool stuff down there. Otherwise, everything else here, you're pretty much going to need a car to go and get to the places that you want to get while you live here. So item number six is kind of losing that feeling of having a small town vibe. Obviously, we're known as the biggest little city in the world. The population in the time I have lived here is more than double to well over half a million people in this whole Washoe County Valley. And if you've lived here a long time, it still runs kind of like a small town in many ways. Lots of people that are the big players in town know each other, but it is starting to just have more people, more things in that small townish vibe that we used to have. It's a little less than it used to be. I don't think for most people, it's really a big deal. Item number seven is school. If you were to go look at the public school district websites around the country, the state of Nevada was always one of those bottom schools. I think we're slightly improved and done better. I'm always one of those, whatever specific school your kids go to, meet the principal, talk to the teachers. I think you can make the most of it at any school, but just with test scores and rankings, Nevada and our area is not really known for having these great, amazing school scores and schools, but don't let that be a major factor. And if you're thinking about coming here or not, I think the reputation is probably worse than what it really actually is. Item number eight, public transportation. There is that walkable area in Midtown and Downtown, but, and we do have buses here, but I know very few people that use public transportation here, and we just don't have a lot of it and it's just not very good, really at the end of the day, you're better off if you have a vehicle. Item number nine about why you might think twice about living here, and this is just a pet peeve of mine, is we do not have the highest end professional sports. So if you're one of those people that wants to see pro baseball, football, basketball, hockey, you don't have to go real far. You can drive the four hours to San Francisco. You can drive the seven hours to Vegas or get on a plane to either place and see those. But in our area, what we have is AAA baseball, which is pretty darn good. And we have a great stadium downtown. We got the University of Nevada, which has great college sports and we're in the Mount West Conference. And then we have pro soccer. There's a professional hockey team, but they're, you know, mid to low level type leagues. So if you're just someone like me who loves sports and you want to see the high, high end, you're going to have to travel somewhere else to do that. 
Item number 10 of the biggest things you need to look into about why you might not want to live in Reno Tahoe is of course housing and affordable housing. And we did a cost of living video about this too, but if you can get your housing situation figured out, whether you're a renter or a home owner, and you can get a payment or a rent amount that you can afford every month that you're comfortable with, the rest of living in the area is going to work out great for you. But it is a factor for a lot of people on if they get a new job, you got to figure out, does it make sense to still move here? So if you're liking the content we're putting out there about all things Reno Tahoe, Northern Nevada, by all means, please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so that you'll know when new videos are coming out. And we appreciate you watching all the way to the end of the video. Thanks.